Hungary has been making wine for thousands of years. Over the course of a thousand years, there will be lots of ups and downs. The 20th century was more downs, and uh, communism and the world wars are long gone now. 30 years ago, Hungary, and including Hungarian winemaking, started a new chapter. My name is Gábor Bánafalvi, and I'm uh, one of the co-founders and co-owners of Taste Hungary and The Tasting Table. We created our own space uh, in Budapest, the uh, Tasting Table. So we hold uh, two classes every day. The master class it would include uh, eight glasses of wine, a lot of education on Hungarian wine regions, wine history. So Hungary has 22 wine regions. Our word for wine is bor, B-O-R. That means that the Romans didn't teach us how to make wine. We already knew what wine was. Typically, we go to three wineries on a day trip. To get to Tokai is about two and a half hours. So the first one would be a visit to a larger establishment. These uh, typically hand-carved, centuries-old uh, wine cellars, very unique to the region. So the Toka region uh, got its uh, fame from the sweet wines back to the mid-16th century. Today it, it's a special coexistence of climate, soil and, and tradition. The wine is golden in color. The wine has this gold flavor profile. To understand Tokai, you have to picture yourself in a world where sweetness is a luxury. And that was the 1700s. The sweetness was only from honey and ripe fruits. So Tokai was the source of the wine for the Pope, the wine for the kings, the wine for the queens. So after the first tasting, we would have lunch at a family-owned winery. The third tasting would typically be at a very small winery, still making very top quality wines. The possibilities here are limitless because we have a native grape, the Furmint. It's a grape that can produce wonderful dry wines, wonderful Singer Vineyard wines expressing the terroir. And it has richness, you know, it's not just a, a a white wine that's fresh and needs to be drunk uh, young, but it's a wine that you can age. It's a wine that collectors can be excited about. People need to feel like they really got immersed into our culture, learned a lot, and discovered sort of uh, something that was totally obscure to them before. 